Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Friday the 2nd of September. This evening we return once again to the popular sheep that wander the banks of the Hythe Military Canal in Appledore and we listened to the music The Lord is My Shepherd by Lennox Barclay. Let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, you too were tired when day was done. You met your friends at evening time. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, you too enjoyed when nights drew on. You told your tales at close of day. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus. You kindled faith when lamps were low and opened scriptures, broke the bread and shed your light as darkness fell. Come, Lord Jesus, meet us here. Our reading and reflection this evening have the title Setting Out in Sevens, and we continue our look through the book of Revelation. Our passage comes from chapter one, verses 12 to 13, 17 and 20. I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the lampstands I saw one like the Son of Man. He placed his right hand on me, saying, As for the mystery of the seven stars that you saw in my right hand, and the seven lampstands, The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the seven churches. Thanks be to God. The first three chapters of Revelation are known as the letters to the seven churches, and are many epistles that address issues pertinent to their recipients. We can also read them as a little travelogue, a virtual tour of those far-flung outposts of first century Christian faith. It is possible to visit these places today, although it involves some gruelling bus journeys around Western Turkey. It is not for the faint-hearted, and we can get a pretty good view in our mind's eye by reading John's Outtray. On our armchair travels through Asia Minor, we must also travel by numbers. The number seven is our guide. The idea that seven is an almost magical divine number is well known, but it is a residue of a much greater reliance on the ancient world, on sacred cosmic numbers and letters. Three is the number of God, four of the universe, there are four seasons. Seven is the sum of three and four, so it is the number of perfection. Thus six, the number below it, is the number of the Antichrist, of imperfection, of deception. Nowadays we still have a residue of this. We like phone numbers that begin 0777 or number plates with 777 and we are averse to three sixes the famous number of the beast in Revelation, seen by many as a perfect number of imperfections. And, of course, 13. While this makes the numerology of Revelation accessible, we have moved a long way from being superstitious and living our lives by numbers. To John and his readers, however, it was obvious. When we read of the seven letters to seven churches, in the shadow of seven lampstands, delivered by seven angels and seven stars, what we have is a depiction of supreme divinity, painted by holy numbers. Holy God, help us to travel in wisdom and love by the light of your sevenfold glory. Amen. We now join together in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Dear Lord, as the darkness draws in, you are the light in our hearts. As the air turns colder, you are the warmth in our souls. As the stars are revealed, you renew our spirits. As the moon shines, we know we are held safe in your arms. Bless us and keep us this night. Amen. Now may the Spirit of God, who brooded over the waters and brought order out of the chaos, find a home in our hearts and settle our minds as we sleep, that tomorrow we may wake and live to God's glory. Amen. Amen.